welcome everyone in this video lecture we will solve a gate question in which we have to find the 3 dB cutoff frequency in an open base circuitry so this one is the circuit so in this circuit the open is our ideal one so we have to find the 3 dB cutoff frequency so for 3 dB cutoff frequency the first thing that we have to find that is our V0 by V in if we find V0 by V in, that is our transfer function, we can say the transfer function. So from that transfer function, we can easily find the cutoff frequency, 3 dB cutoff frequency. So this one is the open base circuitry. So in this open base circuitry, there is an inverting in, non-inverting in. So we can say we are giving input to the non-inverting in and the other in that is our inverting is more or less grounded okay so we can redo the circuit so i'm redoing the circuit this one is one the sister okay this is sister which is grounded here because in most of the book or the very famous book, Ballstead book, you can find that this type of thing will be there. So for this one is inverting in. So this one is our 10 kilo ohm resistance, 10 kilo ohm. And this one plus one. So this for plus one, this one is our one resistor is there. And one capacitor is there, which is grounded, and one more resistor, and this one is our V i, and this in is our V naught, and this resistance is ten kilo, ten kilo, and this one is C, that is our zero point one microfarad. So in this case, this one is our non inverting amplifier this one is our non inverting amplifier okay we can easily say if we are saying this one is a v1 input so if this one is a v1 input so we can say simply the v note by v1 is nothing but simply 1 plus rf by r1 it is very fundamental thing okay means in our most of the book what we can find if okay if we have a inverting amplifier non-inverting amplifier so what we are giving we are giving some input v1 and this one as assistance okay so this one is our v output and this one is our grounded say this one r1 and some feedback resistance rf so the output output that is our v naught by v1 is 1 plus rf by r1 okay so this one is the very fundamental formula we can say or we can easily uh, derive this one. So we have to use this non-inverting amplifier. So one more thing we have to find V1. So as we know this V1 okay, and the current in this in this 10 kilo ohm resistance will be 0 because it, the impedance will be very high because it offers very high input impedance so this voltage will be also same because the current should be zero to make it zero the voltage of this in also be v1 so we can say this one is our v1 okay so now what we can do we can simply make the circuit where this one is our 10 kilo ohm 
or better to write R here. Okay, and one capacitor is there. Capacitor is there having value zero point one microfarad, and this one is our V one. Okay, so we have to find that V one value, and this one is our V I. Okay, or one can write plus of minus and plus of minus V one. Okay, anything you can write. So now this due this C. Capacitor, so the impedance should be one by S C. So V one can be directly written as by applying voltage division rule. Opposite resistance, so that is the opposite resistance. That is our one by S C. The impedance across the capacitor one by S. Then one by S C plus R. Simple voltage division rule. Okay, so it will give V one by V I. H simply we can write one by S C one plus S C R divided by S C. This S C S C will be cancelled out. So the term V one by V I equals to one by one plus S C R. Okay, at the end we will put the C and R value. So this one is the one function. Okay. Basically, first we have to find V naught by V one. So we are doing all these things. So from here we can say V naught by V one equals to one plus R by R one. So here this one is our this one. I am saying this one is say R one and this one say R. Okay. Or make it capital or small. Okay. R by R one. Okay. So now, what we can say, V naught by V one equals to one plus R F by R one. Okay, or we can write V naught equals to one plus R F by R one into V one. Okay, now we can put one plus R F is our ten kilo ohm. So better to write ten kilo and ten kilo. Ohm. Okay, and V one is nothing but simply from here we can write V one equals to V I by one plus C I. We are just finding the gain first. V naught by V I. Our first in the very first I have already written. We have to first find the gain. V naught by V in, or we can write it V I. Okay, I in, or we can write it I in. Not issue or I. You can write it I also. Clear. So I and I am writing. So V one, V one equals to V in by one plus S C R. So it should be cancel, cancel. So it should be V not equals to twice V in by one plus S C R. Okay. So we have find the value of gain V not by V in. As a function of S, we can say complex frequency parameter two by one plus S C R. So basically, this one, this whole thing, this whole thing is our what? This whole thing is our first order, first order low pass filter. Transfer function, or we can write as a single uh, single transfer function. Okay, so first order low pass ping function is nothing but simply T S equals to some function A by S plus omega. Okay, so this omega will be the cut off frequency. Okay, so from here one can easily observe V naught. Okay, or we in two and take R C as a common, so we can write S plus one by R C. So this one represents the omega term. So omega equals to one by R C. So omega equals to two pi F. So F no time writing for three dB. So it should be two pi 
rc now we have to put the value 2 pi into the value of r is 10 kilo okay so i am writing 10 kilo 10 into 10 to power 3 into capacitor value so put 0 0.1 microfarad so we better to write 10 to power minus 6 okay so now we have to solve the f naught value so it should be 1 by 2 pi into 10 to power 4 into 0 0.1 into 10 to power minus 6 okay same thing i am writing so we can write as 10 to power 4 10 to power 6 okay once again i am writing 10 to power minus 2 okay into one can write for 0 10 to power minus 1 okay so f naught simple calculation is there 2 pi into 10 to power 3 okay now better to write 1 by 2 1 by pi into 10 to power 3 because in the question it is asking about the hertz in hertz okay just look it is asking in hertz so what we have to do now we have to solve this one so better to write 1 by 2 and 1 by pi is 0 0.318 1 by pi 0 0.318 okay into 10 to power 3 now if we make 10 to power 3 10 to power 3 will be cancelled then 1 pi and then 9 so it should be nearly 159 hertz so f naught value will be 159 hertz okay so this one is the 3 db cutoff frequency and if we plot the okay if we plot the gain versus frequency curve that is our this axis gain v not y v in y frequency okay so it will go like that okay first order so it should be minus 20 db per decade and the 3 db will be 159 much okay f not we can say so this one is basically our low pass filter function first order low pass filter function so the answer for this question will be our 159 okay in hertz so no need to write 159 hertz is the correct answer so this is all about the the answer for this question so basically this one is our non inverting op amp non inverting amp operational amplifier amplifier so we know this result okay so we have to solve so we have to mainly find this v v1 so this v1 will be same as that of this one there is no need of this resistance okay, because the current should be zero so this v1 is just the rc combination so this basically this rc is a low pass filter so if we solve then we will find the transfer function and if we solve the transfer function we can write in this form okay now from this one the coefficient of s should be 1 and then find the omega value that is our 1 by rc so finally we will find the value of f naught okay by putting all these value we can find the final result 159 hertz okay and the transfer function for this circuitry is nothing but simply 2 by rc s plus 1 by rc so we can find the 3 db cutoff frequency and this one is our low pass filter so this is all about this question so thank you for watching this video thank you